Good morning. It's me, DV. It's July 25th and still Leo season. July, today's July 25th. So I'd like to wish Rhea T a happy birthday. Happy birthday, doll. You better get it in like y'all Leos do. If you anything like my kid with this personality of hers and she's 12, I know it's going down. I'm just mad because every time I look at her Facebook post, everything says she turned up. Bottom as you washing dishes. I turned up. I'm turned up. That's the nation. Bottom as you washing dishes. Nobody, you're, you just typed it. You're not really turned up. But I know that when this party comes, when she starts getting it in like she is, she will be turned up. So, react to you, make sure you get turned up. Yesterday, when I picked Deveja up from work, there was a letter left at the front desk from one of the employees there. And he left it there for me. So, I want to read the letter to you. Because when he gave me the letter, well, I'll read the letter to you first. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Norman, I, Johnny Hogan, whom you met of Clark County so-and-so, and write unto inform you of Division Rogers' performance. I said so-and-so because you don't need to know where she work. Y'all not going to be stalking my kid trying to get the first dibs on the babysitting because she bought that life. I'm not, uh-uh, nobody's doing that. I'm just kidding. But y'all ain't stalking her. That's all I'm trying to say. As I mentioned to you approximately three weeks ago, her performance is exemplary. As of this date, she continues to improve. Devesia handles children well, displays excellent leadership, and adults love her on the front desk. Devesia is just the character type we seek as a county employee or volunteer and recreation center. Leadership of the future. Law. I am proud of her. Thank you. Sincerely, Johnny. You mad? I was mad. How about when I read it as I was reading? I had to read it like three times. Like it was my letter. But I had to read it like three times like, Oh my baby! Oh, so, I tell y'all, hold on. I don't want to do words yet. I don't know what he's saying yet. I'm gonna keep listening. It's not like my fifth time listening to it, but he's still my husband. That's that face. Now I'm just telling y'all. But anyway, y'all don't know how that made me feel when he gave me that letter from you know from my baby. I mean, I know my baby. You, I'm, I can't even explain it. It's one of those things where you, you're lost for words because. You already know, if you if you are instilling in your kid what you should be instilling in your kid and staying on them and grinding them to prepare them for the real world, because this real world is not going to give them a break. Not giving them a break. I wish I had somebody like myself, like Marshawn, that talked to us or talked, you know, talked to us when we was kids the way we talked to her. You know, um, most parents don't do that. But like I say, it's, it's parents are not an easy job. This is for the people that's below me, that people don't understand it that has younger kids. Parenting is not an easy job. I put that on everything I love. I have gone through some things with my baby. I mean, y'all Facebook, y'all saw it in the early, in a couple years ago with my babies. I never thought because she was growing up. She was doing what she was doing. Nothing too bad, but standard typical stuff like, oh, you want to go outside when you're not supposed to. You want to do what you want to do. I don't even be having those issues no more. Like, it was almost like she was going through this phase. We, we skipped the terrible two, the three. We skipped all that. So, like I said, stay on your kids. Talk to your kids. Help them because nobody else is going to teach them crap. Nobody. If you don't teach your kid, there might be very few people, very few leaders, very few adults, very few role models that will teach your kids something along the way. There's a few because that's how I learn. My life is based off people teaching me something. It's based off watching shows, reading books, learning stuff along the way. A few people taught me stuff. But I can't say that my parents sat and taught me all the stuff I needed to know so my goal as her parent is to teach her that so now I'm prepping her so again just wanted to let y'all know prep your kids don't let the streets prep your kids that's a lot of the, the, the ways of the world the streets prepping the kids and the kids um they don't know no better and their parents not encouraging them to do anything else so it leaves them to the streets to go out there and do a whole bunch of who shot John. That's not how I want to leave my kid. Because if I leave here today, I want to leave here today knowing that my kid is good. There's some things she got to learn because she's still learning. Of course, I didn't teach her stuff that she don't need to get to know yet. But if she bring it to me, or I see it and I think she needs to know it, or somebody else like, around her age knows it, I bring it to her. I ask her. She says she don't know. I keep it moving. If she says she do, we talk about it. Woo, whatever. Talk to your kids. Stop putting them games on. Getting them these new phones. Making sure they got the flies, iPad, the best, the fly. The latest J's, the the best weaves, the popping haircut. Stop making sure they have all that stuff only and make sure they have more than just that. Make sure that the knowledge comes into play. Make sure that you teach them some stuff. Make sure that they remember some stuff. It's so funny because Devasia now, all this, like a few things have happened or whatever in my life and it's coming to pass. And 
It was stuff that I told her, hey, don't do this, don't do this, make sure you do this, make sure you do that. Kitchen wash, chores, like whatever it is. But you know, kids don't understand that crap. Make sure the dishes is clean and put this stuff up when you go to sleep. They don't understand that crap. Until she had to put it into a situation where she understands it. And so now I get these from her like, okay, now I understand why you used to say that. Okay, I'm, okay. And now all those things or whatever it was that she finally understands, she don't do it again. She don't even do it or... Now she understands and has an appreciation for why I said it. But anyway, long story short, I love my baby. I'm going to love my baby to the end of time. I'm going to always love my baby because she's my mini-me. My mini-me. Which is, I, sometimes I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I guess it's a good thing sometimes. But I remember the old Devonna. And she was okay. She's still the same hype person. But I'm, now I'm an adult. I just moved up, changed some things. But anyway, y'all have a great day, Leo. Team Leo. This is one last day till my baby turns 13. She will no longer be in those digits without the teen on the end. I am too juiced about that. So y'all have a great day. It's Friday Eve. I will chat with y'all tomorrow. Deuce.